Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to complete the Andy Goldsworthy worksheet. So you're going to be starting at the top and working your way down throughout um, this document here. So let's start at the first, number one, view the Andy Goldsworthy presentation. If we take a look at this presentation, we can click the link and it'll jump us to here. Um, Andy Goldsworthy is an artist that is going to be the inspiration for our next project. You're going to be starting by watching the trailer to his uh, movie, Rivers and Tides, where he travels the world to address the relationship of art and nature. Um, so again, that is step two, watch the movie clip. And then you'll be looking at some of the examples of his artwork. So if we first look at Andy Goldsworthy, um, Andy Goldsworthy is a British sculptor, photographer, environmentalist. He creates site-specific sculptures and land art all around the world. Commonly, he uses only his own hands and found objects as tools. Um, he believes that artwork has a natural life that eventually must end. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. So as we continue on, we'll be looking at different aspects of his artwork. Um, his artwork is, uh, is created only with his bare hands and uses things he only finds in nature. Um, sometimes he works with um, different things that have various colors to create a gradual change of color, whether it's dark to light or other aspects of the color wheel. You can see a gradual change of color in a lot of his works of art. He'll also create geometric shapes such as circles, and he can use lines to create, uh, be created from, from twigs, sticks, and branches. He'll construct things um, three-dimensionally. Three um, he'll create these cones using a wide variety of materials. Um, and he'll also create artwork that's more organic. Organic refers to things that are um, a lot more smooth-edged and asymmetrical usually. Um, and this has to do with ice and snow. Um, one quote from Andy Goldsworthy includes, each work grows, stays, decays. Um, integral, integral parts of a cycle, which the, pho uh, the photograph shows at its heights, making the movement moment when the work is most alive. There is an intensity about a work at its peak that I hope is expressed in the image. Process and decays are implicit. So that quote is really going to be taking us into what you're going to be working on today. Um, next, you're going to be watching a portion of the movie River and Tides. Again, if we continue to look at this presentation, you'll be clicking on this and watching a portion of the video to help you prepare for the final or for the worksheet. Um, next, you're going to be creating a, an artwork inspired by Andy Goldsworthy after you watch that video. To um, create this, uh, to create this um, artwork, you're going to be only using materials that are found in nature. So what does that mean? It could be leaves, grass, dirt, twigs, flower petals, pine cones, sand, hopefully not stone, but you never know, and or stones. So first step. Is you got to go outside. You're going to just kind of look around and see what materials you have access to in your area. You could, you could be looking in a yard, you could be looking in the park, you could be in the street. Obviously, be safe and do whatever um, guidelines um, are, are fall through at home. You're next to be collecting these materials. It could be leaves, stones, pine cones, etc. Um, it's really up to you, but again, I would first just kind of take a look and see what you have access to. Next, you're going to be constructing the artwork inspired by Andy Goldsworthy. You're going to be using colors, shapes, and patterns to create your artwork. So if you're going to be focusing on a uh, gradation of color, you might be drawing inspiration from some of these. If you want to construct things that are more organic and geometric, you might be focusing more on certain shapes, like circles or things that are sharp edged, like uh, these different shapes, or things that are more organic. Again, that means asymmetrical, 
usually kind of wobbly and curved. Or you can focus on a pattern that repeats. This is a series of different colored um, leaves that repeat in a predictable pattern. Once you've constructed your artwork, you're going to photograph it and upload it to your worksheet. And that gets us to this document here. So once you've taken time to complete all this, you're ready for this. Please write your first and last name. Then you're going to be turning in your artwork into here. Click Insert, Image, and then Upload from your computer or Upload from Drive. If you took a photo on your phone, you could email it to yourself, download it on your email on this computer, and then upload it to the computer that way. Or you could just put it from in your drive from your phone um, and then uh, insert it from your drive here. So a lot of ways of doing it. You might have multiple photos because it's three-dimensional artwork, so you might need different angles. Next, list the natural materials used. You might have used only one material, you might have listed several, but please describe and list the materials. Next, talk about the, the artwork. You can use the word shape, color, line, value, or pattern to describe your artwork. How is the artwork influenced by Andy Goldsworthy? Talk about the appearance, material, meaning, as well as time. If you're not sure how to answer this, you might have to go back to this presentation and look back at some of the different examples um, of his uh, of aspects of who Andy Goldsworthy is. Look at some of the different examples. We rewatch a video to help understand how to answer that question. And then finally, reflection. Describe the quality of your artwork using craftsmanship and creativity. Craftsmanship is how good you are at using the material. So how good you are at laying down those leaves in a nice organized pattern. Um, maybe how good you are at having that creation of color being really seamless. Um, how perfectly you can create some of these different shapes. Creativity, on the other hand, is how unique or original your design is. How it stands out from the rest. So maybe, there, maybe your creativity is based off the meaning, um, kind of the emotion the story is telling, or maybe it's just really unique and stands out from the rest. So that's reflection. When you're done, you're gonna be turning this in using this picture as a guide um, to Google Classroom. So you're gonna go to uh, 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 Google Classroom. You're gonna find Andy Goldsworthy Land Art. Click on here, you're gonna click View Assignment. Again, you could have found the worksheet from here, as well as the uh, daily assignment form. But once you're in the worksheet, click View Assignment, go to the top right, you're going to be turning it in via um, Drive, and then you're going to find the worksheet in Drive, select it, uh, uh, upload it, and make sure you submit it and turn it in. Do not just simply click Mark as done, that is not how you turn in the worksheet. So, please make sure you use these resources here, the video which will be linked here, and insert the photo here, and complete the rest of this and turn this into Google Classroom. Have fun and do your best quality work.